Let's take a look at the oxidation numbers for CH3CHO. This is acetaldehyde. We can do this two ways. First, we can look at the average oxidation numbers. We have two kind of different carbons here, but we could look at an average oxidation number for the carbons, or we could calculate for each specific carbon. So let's do an average first. We know that hydrogen is always plus one right here when bonded to nonmetals. So these hydrogens are plus one, and oxygen is negative two almost always with a few exceptions. We don't know what the carbons are though. So we could just set an equation up. We have two X plus we have three times plus one, that's plus three, and then we have another hydrogen. So plus four and then minus two equals zero. Two X plus two equals zero, two X equals negative two X equals negative one. And that would be the average oxidation number for the carbons here and acetaldehyde. But because the carbons here are bonded to different things, they're gonna have different oxidation numbers. So let's take a look at the specific oxidation numbers for each carbon in CH3CHO, acetaldehyde. So let's think of it this way. Each hydrogen we said is plus one. For the oxygen, that's always gonna be minus two. It's the carbons that we don't know. Overall, the whole thing needs to equal zero. So the carbon here, we have one, two, three, we have a plus three. This carbon's gonna have to be negative three. That'll be its oxidation number. We ignore that it's bonded to another carbon here. That doesn't really add anything. But those hydrogens, plus one, plus one, plus one, this is minus three. Over here, we have the minus two and the plus one. This carbon, it's gonna have to be plus one. So plus one, plus one, that's gonna balance out the negative two. And if you add all of these numbers up, it's going to add up to zero. So those are the oxidation numbers for each of the carbons here in acetaldehyde. Sometimes people ask, what are the sum of the oxidation numbers on the carbons? And you just add negative three and positive one and you get negative two. But that's it. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for CH3CHO, acetaldehyde. Thanks for watching.